Thank you. How many people here have bought something from Amazon.com? All right, good. We have something in common. I'm going to talk a little bit about my relationship with Amazon. I call it Amazon archaeology because I dig around to try to find out what I buy. I can also call it Amazon addiction. I have a little bit of addiction, and so I've been swimming in my own click stream for the past 14 years to try to understand what it is. What do we buy? Why do we buy it? Amazon started in June 1995. I was a late adopter. I bought my first book in May 1996. For those of you who work for Amazon, thank you. You'll see why in a moment. Uh, I bought my first book. It was a start. You can see what you bought, by the way, if you don't know, by going and looking at your purchase history. Highly recommend you look at your purchase history. It gives you a lot of insights into where you are, where you've been, where you want to be. I really think that the purchase history is a, a window into our past. This is the first book I bought on Amazon. My purchase history told me that. For the geek, science fiction geeks out there, it's a great book, great series. And I looked back and I said, wow, I don't actually remember buying this book. Nonetheless, I just started to develop a relationship with Amazon because I knew that over time, and here's has what happened over time. I bought a lot of things on Amazon. That represents the number of orders each year, not the number of items. So when you look at this, you say, wow, that's a lot of stuff that someone bought at Amazon. And it sneaks up on you, because it was 524 items. In fact, the background of the screen lists all 524 items. That's a lot of stuff. And it's not unusual. In fact, I've asked other people. No one's quite as bad as me, but people buy a lot of things. And you ask yourselves, how easy is it to give a gift? Well, I've only given 22 gifts. If you've gotten one, great. I'm actually kind of generous, so I'm wondering why I haven't given more gifts over time. Nonetheless, we continue to have this ongoing relationship. You want to know the big number? Eventually, I have to tell you the big number. 14 years, $16,000. That's a good used car. That's a nice big diamond, which I'm sure Sophie can help me out with. There's this ongoing relationship that we have when it's easy to click to buy. And I found in July 2001, I bought this guy, $14.12, interactive Yoda with lightsaber. I do not remember buying interactive Yoda. I do not know where Yoda is, nor have I seen him for a long time. It can be useful, however. I bought $50 worth of batteries in 2005, and I had them sent to my parents living in Florida who had no power after Hurricane Wilma. FedEx was delivering, but there was no power and there were no batteries in the stores. It cost as much to ship batteries as buy them, however. January 14th of 2001, I met a very nice woman online. We chatted. She told me these love these albums. I went, I clicked and bought those albums. Felt really cool about it. They're actually quite good. A uh, year or so later, I married her. So it was good. It sort of Amazon helped make sure that I could set the mood. Uh, the other thing that is, I went in 2002, and I bought a bunch of magazine subscriptions. What the heck was I thinking all in one night? I spent like 60 bucks on magazine subscriptions. Well, you know what happens. A few years later, you get a little baby, and you're planning for that. My daughter knows what Amazon is. She does not know how to access it. <laughs> and she's not going to learn for a long, long time. Uh, nonetheless, with time, you buy things, you want to learn how to blog. I only read the first 140 characters of this. Uh, it's my obligatory social media inside joke. Uh, nonetheless, there's these, these ongoing things that we buy. Why do we buy them? What can we do with Amazon? Amazon's a friend to me. Amazon sent me my beautiful mixer. I bake bread. I bring people into my home. We create things. Amazon, well, the UPS guy thought this was damned heavy, by the way, when he knocked on my door. Here's your mixer. It's lasted for nine years. I buy odd things from Amazon. I try to figure out what they are. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I bought it. It's a book of some sort, and I can't find it. I don't black out regularly. Clearly, I black out around some of my Amazon purchases over time. Amazon figured out a portable addiction mechanism, so I can carry it around and click. The $16,000 does not include the price of all the books I bought on Kindle. Let's just say there's been a bunch of those books I bought on Kindle. It's nice to have it around. It also, you can see that, you know, your life changes. You go up, you go down. Things happen in your life that influence your buying. I'm a compulsive shopper of some sorts. Things happen now. The unemployed, yeah, really low. I've been gainfully employed for a while. We're back up. So I spent $16,000 over all of these years. I don't know what I've gained for it. Uh, I do know that a lot of people have gotten nice gifts. I have a lot of books. I've read most of those books, and I've given a lot of them away. Some things I just can't find. 
like this guy. So if you've seen him, please let me know. And hopefully I will have learned something from it and the force will be with me. Thank you.